Hi, my name is Aiza. I'm one of the oral health therapists here at Smiles and Faces Orthodontics. In this video, we just want to help um, the parents who have um, kids or their teenagers um, with a fixed expander. So what the fixed expander looks like is this, okay? So we've had some patients or parents um, who come across uh, having difficulties turning the expander. So I hope that this video will help you. And we're just going to give you a few tips on how you can um, um, come about that. So. If you find that you can't find the hole of the expander, usually it's because of two things. One is there's food stuck in the hole, and the second one is the turn hasn't been completed. So usually the hole is just right there. How to go about this? So first of all, make sure that you clean the expander really well, especially the middle part of this. So before you do the turn, um, you need to make sure that you're brushing really well around the area and just along all the metal bits of the expander okay it's also don't forget to use the little fixtures okay so you can go underneath and clean underneath the expander and you can also um, do that just scrub right in where the hole is all right so if there is any food stuck what you can do as well is you can either use a toothpick or you can use the metal bit of the key um, that turns the expander so you can just pop it on the hole sorry and that should flick out any food okay so just pretty much inserting that key inside okay when you do the turn it's best that you lie the patient um, on the bed and make sure that tilt the head all the way backwards and opening really big so that you can have a good view. It's also a good idea to have a light source. So for example, you can just use the light um, in your mobile or your um, cell phone. Okay. And then once you've got the patient opening really big, then you should be able to see the hole. If you can't see it, so sometimes what I mean by it's not turned completely is the hole is somewhere like there so can you see how in the middle there's the hole is not visible okay so if that happens what you can do is you can just sort of so find the key again you can feel around with the key and just bring it back a little bit until you see the hole okay now when you're ready to do the turn pop the key back on again until it slides until you feel a click so the, the lock should actually go, sorry, the key should actually go inside by about three millimeters, okay? And then slowly, also remember, the handle of the key should go in between the two front teeth, okay? And when you're doing the turn, slowly pull the key backwards until you see that black hole, okay? Make sure you're doing the turn completely and then slowly pull the key out. Okay, when you're pulling the key out, try not to, uh, to um, turn it backwards because then that's when you're going to lose the hole. Okay, now if you find that it, you're still having problems turning the expander, give us a call and one of us will show you how to do it. Okay, um, hope that helps. Thank you.